What's up guys, good morning. Today I am on the way to Nongdo Won Mokchang, which is basically sort of like a farm that was open about maybe 50 to 60 years ago in 1952. Um, this farm is very well known to a lot of Koreans who actually bring their children. Uh, in this farm you actually have sort of like a program that um, the farm sort of offers to people who come to visit. Uh, the program is about five hours and it consists of consists of a number of things where you actually get to feed cows, you get to pet the baby cows, you get to milk a cow and you use the milk to make ice cream and thereafter you make cheese which you can actually bring along with you. So um, this place is actually located near Yongin city and it's about an hour and a half sort of out of Seoul via a car. But if you're planning to take uh, public transport, it's going to take about two and a half to three hours depending on the traffic that you're going to be going to. Um, yeah, so today I'm, I'm going to be going there to experience that program. It's actually about 25,000 Korean won each per person. And they take up to 60 people. Um, they only do it once a day and uh, you, people usually go on weekends. So you have to make reservations in advance and the whole thing is all in Korean so sometimes it's a little bit difficult if you're a foreigner and you need to do it in English. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do a little vlog when we're, when we're there so I hope that you, know, you have a lot of fun when you're on this trip together with me. What's up guys, I have now arrived at the Nongdoan farm, Nongdoan Mokchang, ranch farm, whatever it is. The moment you arrive, you open the door, you can smell that it's a farm. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so right now I'm in front of the Milk's Milk School, as you can see right behind me, the white building. Um, Right now I'm currently waiting for the programs to start. As you can see over there, there's a lot of people waiting. But most of them are all kids. Yes, that's right. I'm in a program that is for kids. But anyway, uh, this is what most Korean parents bring their little kids, little toddlers to, to experience. Because um, here you get to do a lot of uh, activities that you don't really get to do much in the cities. And... Um, uh, we're gonna start in about 10 or 10 minutes or so. The first program would be to try milking the cows. Yeah, so right now we're just waiting for everyone together, waiting for the time to start. As you can see, our little cow friends are all there at the back. Weather's really good today. It's not that cold, it's not that hot. Blue, beautiful blue skies. And yeah, kinda excited for today. Right now we're done with the explanations and uh, as you can see everyone is queuing up to touch the cow and to actually squeeze out milk from its teeth. So let's go shall we? <laughs>
thing is a little weird, but yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a try to see the taste. Gorgeous, this guy. Zamda. I'm gonna give it a try. It's warm, it's sweet. It's a very interesting flavor actually. They actually say that it's uh, clean and you can actually just drink it right out like that. But of course, it's known to have germs because of your hands and the fact that uh, it may or may not be as sanitary. So, what they actually said is that you can use it to to just uh, rub it all over your hands because it's calcium. It uh, pr promotes good skin. Good skin. Yeah. And that was pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed it. So right now I'm going to go into the uh, milk school. As you can see the white building which I talked about earlier. And we're going to be going inside to be making ice cream. So yeah, stay tuned. Basically, what you have to do is just dry ice. You put the milk all over it. Now all you need to do is just start stirring. Yeah, so. So choco. Thank So she just added chocolate powder into my milk which is gonna become chocolate ice cream. As you can see, it's uh, getting much thicker. There's a little bit of ice that has been formed inside. And yeah, I'll just continue beating it until it becomes a thick paste. And then that's basically ice cream, right? done with the uh, ice cream challenge it was pretty fun uh, I've, uh, I've always watched videos of people making ice cream but I've actually never done it myself so this was a very interesting experience <laughs>